Hey guys, this is xandrew 2007 x here with a very cool video for the jailbreak scene. If you guys haven't seen this post, uh, it will be in the description. So I'm going to make a little summary of what just got released. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, someone by uh, G991, who is uh, golden on Discord, on Twitter, uh, he released a pretty cool... Uh, I guess a file where uh, you can uh, do some cool stuff. I'm not too good on what it does, but I guess it lets you uh, flash your uh, PlayStation 4. I'm not going to even begin to start to talk uh, what that means, but uh, with this, uh, I guess he's able to uh, get more into the kernel and uh, I guess uh, he's able to make his own custom firmware if he has his own uh, keys. He did not release the keys, and he does have the keys himself. But he did release a uh, tool to uh, begin custom firmware for 505. And if 620 uh, jailbreak gets released, uh, maybe uh, custom firmware for 620. And uh, with custom firmware, it basically means you can make your own firmware, and you could probably spoof to hire firmwares, and basically you could uh, completely destroy the PlayStation 4. Uh, if you guys ever modded on PlayStation 3 and on 360, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys had full access to the kernel and everything, and you could just do whatever you wanted. You could download it, and uh, basically you had 100% uh complete control over your console this also means if you turn off your console and you turn it back on it's still modded so this is some pretty cool stuff uh i'm gonna go scroll down in this uh, thing you know he will never release the keys because of uh copyright and um this is some cool stuff if this opens up Any minute now. And uh, this is pretty good. I know I'm just rambling on. Uh, I'll go to the conversation where I'm talking with Golden. Uh, okay. I spoke to him. Alright. Yeah, last time I spoke to him was a very uh, long time ago. And, uh... He's messing around with it. So basically, uh, yeah, you can run your own firmware. And uh, this is me trying to, I guess, tell him why he doesn't do that. And I guess, I don't know. I always figured if you were going to make a fake account and then you'd be in a store and have a VPN, sort of like a disposable phone, I don't know why. Uh, I, I don't know why that could never work, but that's why, um, yeah, he's a very nice person, and he wants to help people. If you're uh, interested in learning how to uh, make the PlayStation 4 more enjoyable, uh, I guess I'll have his Discord in the description. Uh, what else I could say? Um... You know, like, you know, where you turn off your PlayStation 4 and it's still modded. I know this sounds like a bad uh, commentary, but, uh, yeah, this is the truth. Uh, so this is um, good stuff. Of course, it's going to be a while before this ever gets released. But, you know, now that we got 620 WebKit and, you know, people are on 650 private, you know, there's a lot of things now that are people are... are publishing but you know now more people are inclined to actually find stuff so you know there's a 620 web kit which means people could finally uh try to find a kernel with that now uh, you know there's people on 650 private you know maybe one of them might release it and then we got this custom firmware for 505 and hopefully it will lead to more stuff so Hopefully 2019, like I said in my last video, 
uh, will be a more interesting year than 2018. It's almost been a whole year since 505 came out, and not much has happened. But hopefully uh, there will be some light at the end of the tunnel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Alright, see ya.